In today's lab, we're going to look at the wavelength, frequency, and speed of a wave. Um, we're going to be looking at specifically what is the relationship between the wavelength, frequency, and speed, and we're going to use a very long, narrow slinky, basically a long spring to collect some data. All right, we're going to stretch that string over four meters. I have two helpers. One person is going to hold their hand still. And the other person you will see in the video, they're gonna move their back, hand back and forth at a steady pace. And you're gonna see four different um, waves, four different types of waves being produced in this video. What you're going to see in the video is you're gonna see a 10 second clip of the wave moving. Then I'm gonna pause the image and I will have written in what the wavelength is based on the meter sticks on the floor. And then you're going to see four different trials of this. Okay, so your task is you are going to count and record how many times you see the person moving their hand back and forth. So this would be one, two, three, four. And that's during a 10 second clip. So that's going to give you a number, but it's not the frequency. The frequency, you're going to have to take that number and divide it by 10. So for example, if there were 15 waves in that 10 second clip, then the frequency would be 1.5 waves per second. Okay. The second thing you're going to have to do is after that 10 second clip is you, there will be a image showing you the estimated wavelength. It's shown in meters. You may need to convert it to centimeters depending on how you're going to be calculating um, your uh, speed. Find speed, you're going to calculate the wavelength and then multiply it by the frequency. So this is the data table that I have my students fill in. Again, um, this is off the screenshot. This is from the counting from the video clip. And then this is something that they need to calculate. This first wave is so big that um, you can't see the entire wavelength of crest to crest in the image. So instead we need to go from crest to trough and then we're gonna take that distance and multiply it by two to get the full wavelength. Here is another wave here, and we are again measuring from crest to crest to find the wavelength. So each square tile is one foot across. I use that to figure out how many feet across it was from crest to crest, and then from that I calculated roughly how many meters. Okay, here's our next wave. You can see the slinky is right here that I'm tracing. So the wavelength is crest to crest. This is in meters. So here we have our highest frequency wave. So you can see now we have three crests and one, two, three, four troughs visible. And the estimated wavelength was right around one meter. Teachers, please subscribe. I have many other virtual physics activities available on my YouTube channel that might help you. And the best compliment you can give me is to subscribe and give me a thumbs up.